Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. MochaLover and thank you for joining me here in Victoria 2, playing as Sokoto. So why Sokoto? Well, we've got a nice little green flag. We might be considered primitives, but I decided, you know what, it's been a while since I've actually played in Victoria 2 at the time of this recording. And Sokoto, well, I was watching some ISP on YouTube or ISR Productions and he said, Sokoto is a fun little nation to play if you've never played as them before. I've played as Japan before, I've played as the Russian Empire, I've played as Brazil. But not Sokoto. Of all nations to play, I'm playing a nation in Western Africa. I was considering Ethiopia, maybe, but we'll see what happens. But regardless, we have an alliance with Dendi. Uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, one of my goals is to become the Tukalor Empire. But we need Segu, Bandiagara, and Niami. So we need Bandiagara, Segu, and Niami. So we got a race over there, so I'm going to say no. But before we get too far over there, I'm going to go ahead and try to get access to the sea and try to smack the living crap out of Oyo because, well, why not? Cool, let's look at the budget. I love Victoria too. We can tax the heck out of the poor people. Do some of that. Rates is quite a bit high because we need a lot of that. Administration, we're not going to focus on too much right now. We're going to lower this a lot because we need to save some serious money. And we'll be spending some serious money soon anyways too. So, And did we start justifying on, yet, on them yet? Ah, there is. Oh, it's an uncivilized or primitive nation. It only takes three months to go to war. Oh, yeah. Hopefully we don't get found out. Please don't tell me I just jinxed myself. Please, please, please. Hey, we're making some decent cash. Come on. Come on. At least get to 50% before we get found out. 50%. There you go. Mission oil. What are you talking about? Cool. And since we're doing that, I'm going to go actually... We're limited by this. So we have... We get 0.3 a day. We're uncivilized. Um, I'm going to wait till the next month. Let's see. We have 0.4... I'm going to wait at least one more month before we start raising our conscription level. Just because... Oh, actually, we should probably get you guys all together first. Get them all together. Because if we don't have enough Dipple Points, there's nothing we can really do. So now we're going to begin really maximizing these guys up. Thank you very much. Lower that. And get some more money. That's a little bit too much. There you go. That's a little better. That's a little better. Hey, there we go. We can go to war, but since we don't have the Dipple Points, it doesn't even matter right now. 0.6, we got 0.9, we gotta wait another month anyways. Can we please have a leader? We need a leader, come on, find me a leader. I don't know how long it takes to find a leader, but for the love of God, please get us a leader. <laughs> if we don't have a leader, oh, that attack is so bad. Let's go to war anyways. Oh, they have a level 4. Oh, this is not gonna go well, very well for us, is it? Well, we're fighting 4 nations now. Aro over there, Oyo, obviously, a D word nation over there. And, oh, we're fighting Mossy as well. Holy crap. That's a lot of guys. I'm going to move in immediately. There's only 9,000 people here, so if we can smash the crap out of them now, that would be good. And if we can move fast enough, we can just straight up annex these guys without anything else happening, really. Yeah, they're already sieging me down, whatever. But we already killed these guys off. So, if we can siege them down fully, I think we'll be able to annex them. Don't quote me on that, though. We'll see what happens. And I want to kill them off first because they have claims on our territory. Actually... Oyo does, so we want to kill them all quickly. Come on, come on, come on. Good. Where's the leader? We need a leader. Oh, they're going to get our capital. That's not good. Voting rights rescinded in Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Well, we'll see what happens. We got Lagos, which is nice. They're going to have a capital, which is not very good. Good. We got them. And we can only support one out of our... Well, we have fielded eight out of our one possible brigades that our soldiers can support. And we're about to lose our capital. How do we not have a leader yet? Mexican Thaw. That's cool. Can we get peace yet? No. Oh, that sucks. Well, we're going to lose a capital. So be it. But as long as we get this province, we might do okay. If they're fully sieged down, I don't think they can do very much. Oh, the year of abundance. Here is the best pastures in the world. For a lean beast grows fat here in ten days. Wild game of every sort of bounds. These are great quantities of wild sheep of huge size amid sublime plains and fine yields that yield bountiful harvests of wheat and every other kind of grain. 1837 was an especially bountiful year with an ex excellent climate and rainfall, making the latest harvest something to behold. The effects of this perfect climate will be felt for a while and translate to higher agricultural output. Great, that's great, but it's only January 3rd, 1873. No, 1837. 1837. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. How can I have higher agriculture output right now? But, hey, you know what? That's just me. Especially in January, but I guess this is Africa, so I'd, I'd imagine it'd be pretty hot down here. Okay, so can we just peace out now? 
There we go. Love it! See? And we have access to the sea! Love it! Alright, so you guys are not allied with anybody. I am a little worried people do want to go to war with me. Do we, does anyone have claims on me? Because actually, I'll be honest, this is like my fourth attempt trying this. Because oil kept trying to kill me off, so. Alright, so we can support 8 out of 5. We're going to build more. Because, obviously, our guys can't really support stuff. And actually, let's see. The Yoruba culture here, it looks like. Do we have Yoruba and Hausa? Yoruba and Hausa. And where do I see... It's over here. Yoruba. We have Hausa, but no Yoruba. Hmm. What is this one? Hausa. Ooh, and those are the Fulani Jihad. The literacy above 4%. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be actually be forming this Tulukalor Empire. Because once they get this and they kill each other off... Oh, that's not good. Landlocked Nation? We lost the effects of Landlocked Nation. We get... We lost higher import costs and less immigrant attraction. Hey, we can get immigrants. Sokoto in the modern age. We have seen the outsiders. They come with guns and riches we've never seen before. What they also bring is death, and we must always be aware of that lies behind their smiles. Sokoto stands on good terms with much of the Western world. But our leaders are all too aware how quickly that could change. The Europeans believe we are not civilized, and the tone of our contact with them is slowly changing from friendly interest in trade to a strange paternalism coupled with cultural superiority for now. Sokoto survives, but we must watch for the moment when the civilized nations decide our enslavement is the only way we can be saved. Sokoto shall endure. 52%, not bad. Alright, so I'm going to set the capital as a rally point. So this way, all these... Actually, with four of you being made, we can send guys over here, which would not be bad. I'm just waiting because people might want to come kill us. I'm not sure if they want to or not. But these guys are alone. I kind of want to kill them off immediately. We still don't have a leader, though. Ooh. Hmm. At least we're not a landlocked nation. Does anyone want to immigrate here? Sokoto is one of the great places of the world, but no. I mean, of course, America gets a lot of stuff, but hey, we're making more money. That's awesome. Spend. Spend that money we're making immediately. And... Oh, look at that. Nice. We got some divisions. I'm going to call them divisions, brigades, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. We're still spending a lot of money on this. Okay. Rich people, invest. Ooh, do we know how to support this? All right, so I'm going to risk this a little bit. They have three. We have three. They have 12,000. We have tw double the amount, but... They have claims on our territory, so we'll see what happens. I want my cores. Or, hold on, wait, hold on. They own that. How's the land? Huh. Well, I want my cores anyways. So find their leader, and kill them. Because we're spending a lot of the military anyways. And, oh, that is actually really smart for them. Grass on hills, they got a little bit more defense maybe? Combat with reduced by 33%. We can still probably win there, right? Right? These guys are still killing each other over here, which is fine with me. Um, Come on. No, they should not be able to move faster in my territory than us. That doesn't make any sense in my mind, but whatever. Okay, mind of wind of westernization. Once the wind of western civilization blows to the east, every blade of grass and every tree in the east falls with the western, western wind brings. They call them omens. We call them omens. The strange things that have transpired lately off our coastline, strange ships have begun appearing. Strange ships with masts so tall it seems to touch the face of God. At first, the curiosity is soon every so often, increasing in intensity as the gale grows to storm, and tomorrow? Strange as their ships, and stranger still their customs. But there can be no doubt that we must adopt the policy with regards to the foreigners from Europe. We allow Westerners into Sokoto, as long as, so as long as they cause no trouble. Ooh, I like that research point modifier. They bring dangerous ideals. Sokoto will, will refuse them all access. I'm not good enough to choose this one. So, we're going to go with this one. Because we want that research points. Nice, look at that. Very good. Kill them all. Hey, we just killed off... Okay, we just killed off all roughly 12,000 of them. Not bad. Cool. And we have no infamy, so that means... I want to get to Dendi as fast as possible. It might be a little dangerous... If we can go to war with these guys, because we do have Hausa. Oh, actually, we're going to add a war goal. We can make him a puppet. We could actually do stuff, but we're not going to do that. Uh, what Sokoto. If you didn't know, Sokoto is actually part of modern-day Nigeria, and they have a big old population. That's one of the reasons why I want to play them as well. But it's been a long time at the time of this recording since I've actually played the Control 2. Hausa is an accepted culture, so that is good. Beoudin as well. Songhai. So having Hausa here is actually really, really good. We would have to kill off Messina and Aro. Aro, they're level 3. We could probably deal with them first and crush them. Messina, they're busy trying to kill off these guys, which would, might be a little bit of a problem. But once we have these guys under us as well, we should have a bigger military then. 
So I'm going to gamble this. I'm going to risk it, probably. Actually, we can go to war with these guys. Actually, it might be better just to go to with Aro first, and then Damagaram. Yeah, we can close up this area a little bit faster. Oh, we can't just find them. Oh, oh, we have a truce with them. Okay. Oh, god dang it, we have a truce with them too. Benin and Ashanti. Uh, Benin, where's Benin? Oh, oh, they're right down here. Yeah. Mm. Well, I guess they're next. Let's we'll see what we can do. Especially if we have a backup army here too anyways. Well, let's finish us off as fast as we possibly can. I think that'd be good. Lots and lots of war. How are the bureaucrats here? Not doing too bad. Hey, we have Bountiful Year as well. Love it. And we've been found out. But you know what? That's okay. We're going to get found out anyway, so... We might as well finish this up as fast as we possibly can, right? And we're making more money, which is awesome. I love it. Who doesn't love making lots of money? Alrighty, tidy. Making ourselves bigger and stronger. 71.3 is not bad. And you're almost done, Kufa. Actually, we don't need to full siege them down, actually. Oh, yeah. There we go. Our lands return. As a result of the Treaty of the Bornu, some of Sokoto's lands are to be returned. We are, however, only entitled to the lands over which we have cl claim. Any other that should, by all rights, be returned to Bornu. We'll keep everything we've gained. Probably, yeah. Nice. Not bad. Now they're stuck up there. Not bad at all. So, who are we going to war with? Oh, they're going to war with... Oh, the British have already arrived. So, I'll be honest, I don't know how long this campaign is going to go on. We'll go as long as we possibly can, but the Westerners coming in... They might just come and kill us, so that's not very good. We can go to war with Benin next, though. So. Benin's right here, so you guys go here, and you guys kind of hang out near Aba uh, Ibadan. Ibadan. Ashanti, good luck. If that's the case, we could maybe... Let's keep high relations with the Brits. Oh, but we have no diplomatic points. Oh, no. Oh, look at that money, that spike in money right there. There we go, nice. Let's get our guys down here, settle down, have a good time. Oh, you guys are going to die. That's not good. Well, not good for them. Oh, and they're dead. How sad. Alright, let's go ahead. Oh, Calabar. Oh, Calabar, hello. Level 1, 3 points. And then, who are we fighting as well? Dahomey, and they, that's not too strong, so. You both have generals, you have no general, and you have Abdullahi Fodio. He's actually got some pretty good stuff on him. That's actually not too bad. Too bad, we're going to have to go to war with Benin and kill them off. Thank you. And after this war, we got to cut down all the, the Krieg and stuff. Just because... I think we pretty much have to. Go ahead and head on in if you can. You know what? If you want to play this game, we're just going to kill off your divisions, your enemy divisions. Oh, that is so sad for them. If it can be sp sphered by the UK... That would not be bad, actually. You know what? Since you're both here, just kill them all off. You wanted war, right? They, they totally wanted war. They were asking for it. There you go. Cool. I'm going to have you both go there, but not really. You go to Abomi. But actually... Oh, wait. We're fighting three people. Oh, Calabar, too, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. I do want to get to peace as fast as possible. I would like to go to war... Actually... Hmm. I don't think we can add too much there. I mean, we already have 14 infamy, so... We gotta be cool with what we've got. I don't want to lower this too much. Gotta raise a few more taxes. We're making okay money. Well, maybe not. Some days we are, some days we aren't. Because this is all one area, right? Yeah, it's all one area. I would love to annex them immediately, but we can't do that yet. Well, hello, Messina. Uh, no, you annexed Niami and that one. All they need left is Segu, which is something that we need. Because they're probably going to be able to form the... Tokular Empire, which we do not want them to do. Oh, nice. Okay, thank you. Ida. Good. Losing a little bit of money. How's this looking? Not bad. That's actually pretty good. Alright, very good, very good, very good. Right, getting more population. Love it. Anyone want to immigrate to a nation in West Africa? Oh, hello. You have a death wish. We're going to make West Africa superior again. Alright, so we got a couple things here. We can build another army. Hey, and they all died. Boom, boom. Because we want to replace some of these soldiers that... Or some of these brigades or divisions that we can't really support too well. As soon as we can, we'll always just peace out, honestly. Loot the area. Salt the earth. There you go. 
Alright, let's go and just peace out, because we want to get to peace so we can get more war goals. Actually... Hmm... Pop it? That costs... We could pop it to homie! That would not be bad. We get five prestige. Who are they killing off? Hold on, who, who's the French killing off? Algeria? That's fine with me, I don't really care. We can't conquer them because that's so much infamy. Why do we have to... Why is that so much infamy for Western African primitive nations? I don't understand. That's only three infamy for five more prestige. Is that worth it? That's not bad. But I want to be able to get down to just conquer more and more and more as fast as possible. Propose peace. We'll go to peace with these guys. There you go. Oh, wait. I should not have done that. Oh, that's my bad. I'm dumb. I'm dumb, 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 dumb. You guys head up here. Oh, I'm going to do that. That's fine. That's army cost. You know what? If that's the case, go and lower the spending for now. Wow. This class is not looking very good. We're maxed out there, too. And we'll build more. We'll try to make more money. And actually, before we annex these guys, so we need to get as much research points as possible. We're at currently 1217. So if we conquer somebody, do we get more research points? So 1217.7. 1217.7. Great. And of course, we'll extend slavery, because why not? 1217. No, we do not get more research points. That sucks. I thought we would be able to get more research points, but obviously not. So we got to save our research points. Anything other things we can build? Two more cavalry. Boom, boom. There you go. I'm not going to delete these guys yet, just because we probably still need them. And they'll do this, too. And that'll be okay. Cut down even more on the military. If we don't need them right now, that's fine with me. Even more. We want money. We want need We need a lot of money. So we can build more nations up. Oh, Watara. Who the heck is that? Where's what? Watara, yeah, Watara. Watara, Netherlands, UK. You know, since we're here. Hey, buddies! We can't increase relations. Oh, we need oh we need even more? Are you kidding me? I guess technically we could go to war with someone else. You know what? Ooh, if worry Oh, we could potentially get found out. If we do get found out, I don't want to save scum. I really don't. But we're gonna do it anyways. That's not bad. So if we get found out, I'll pay it and pay it out, and we'll probably just start when the war starts. Please don't get found out. Please, for the love of God, do not get found out. We're only 20% of the way there. That's not bad. War exhaustion is kind of high, actually, already. 68, 67. Once we hit the halfway mark, we'll be okay. I think. 22, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll be okay for now. Cool. I won't say it's coming now. Awesome, let's go ahead. We got... Do we even have to... Oh, we will have enough diplomatic points. Go and do that. Uh, an alliance offer. We could move through the door lands and kill off enemies. Messina, Aro. No, we gotta kill those guys off, so that's not very good. Mulsi? Actually, I don't mind allying with Mulsi. They don't really like us, though. Why don't they like us? I have no idea. Well, we have troops with them. That's probably why. Mission Warry, Not bad. Hey, you got a little bit more liberal support, so that's good. What are you talking about? How's... Oh, good. 100% bureaucrats. Uh, Population-wise, we have a lot more population up here. and we, This is a core territory, so let's go and get some more bureaucrats up here, then. More and more bureaucrats. Hey, you know what? 4.2 infamy. I'll gladly take that over pretty much whatever else we had earlier. Um, we can move up there. That's fine. And we should be able to go to war very soon. There we go. Awesome. You know what? Give it just one more month. There we go. All right. Let's have a good time. You should be able to do stuff. You have no army leader. You still have Abduli. Abdullahi. Not bad. And they all dead. All dead. If that's the case, I don't think anyone else is going to help them out, so we can probably lower military spending anyways. Thank you very much. And then you find out we're going to get annihilated, probably. You never know. Just tax the middle class. They don't need life needs. They don't need life goods. Oh, we got more armies up here. Oh, that's great. Look at that money. What are we even spending our money on right now? If that's the case, we can lower this by a little bit, maybe. Help the people out. Or maybe help out the upper class as well, maybe a little bit. Yeah? No? Yeah? Nice. Keep helping out with the budget. That'd be great. Oh, that's not looking good for these guys. Wow. It's really not looking good. Jesus. Hey, more money, though. I love the more money. Hopefully no one wants to kill us off. So I really don't know if we'll be able to form that one T empire here, but we'll try our best. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, but, you know. I just want to be able to westernize before 18... 
70. I think that's when the enemies start coming in trying to kill us off, so. So, like again, 1756.6. 1756.6. It's not going to happen, so. 1756.6. Yeah, nothing happens, which really sucks. Not bad. Not bad, though. Cool. Go, yeah, go and go bind the guys. Urgh, that's not looking very good for our army. Let's see. It's fine. Wow, that's a lot of money now. Now, we are making some serious cash. Well, for a primitive nation, I would say, I suppose. Not bad. Boom, boom. Boom. Even more soldiers. Not bad. Not bad at all. I want to go to war again, but I don't want to save scum. So we'll see what happens. And I think we've been at war with pretty much everyone here. At least once. Primitive nation. Yeah, we have a truce with them. Oh, look. Oh, the opium war. Wow. You are going really fast and early, aren't you, guys? I want to increase the relations with you guys. It's not really worth it that much, but you know what? That's okay. I I hope they can pop at us. I hope they can pop at us. So we've already, we've already slashed the budget by quite a bit. Oh, administration. Build that up. It's going to cost us a lot of money to do that. But I think that'll come in handy. Yeah, we built up a lot of money, actually. I built up a nice little stockpile for now. How's this looking for budget? Not bad, not bad, not bad. Ooh, we could probably use another technology limit us to that. Professor, control of the intellectuals. Get rid of the worst troublemakers. Uh, control of the legislatures, that's fine. Why is this going up so much? Infamy and Western... Oh, we have Western influence. Messina. Now, that's the one nation we don't want to ally with. Bombada? They might actually be a good nation to ally with. They're fighting... Uh, Futaturo. Where the heck is Futaturo? Oh, they're right there. And you guys are winning. Would you all like it? I can't give you an alliance. Hmm. Wow, budget-wise, that's not looking good. <laughs> wow, that's really not looking good. We got a lot of prestige, though. That's pretty nice. That is pretty darn nice. Cool. Very, very good. Yeah, we're kind of hurting here, but whatever. Cholera, the defining syst symptom of cholera is an exhaustive diarrhea, rendered the disease almost completely incapable of retaining fluid. In severe forms, the disease can cause death within a few days, the first symptoms making it one of the most rapidly fatal illnesses known to man. Today, we received a dispatch from one of our provinces confirming early reports that the disease has indeed broken out there. Quarantine the province. Ooh, how bad could it get? Ooh, they get more consciousness. They lose militancy. Quarantine it. Rapidly getting more and more consciousness. This is going to spawn rebels, which is not good. That's why I kept a little... Actually, it's probably good to keep a few more armies closer to the capital. Especially since we're not spending that much on the military anyways. Alright, so we can't afford this much. <laughs> we can afford a little bit, but not that much. I don't want to tax the middle class too much or the upper class too much. And tariffs? They're getting us a lot of money, but... It's just definitely still a mixed bag. Definitely still a mixed bag. Oh, we can make more armies, though. But... But, but more armies. Ooh, actually, that's not going to be right there. Let's, let's move you down here. Buy it up. You would have a poet. Leave him be? Uh, no, leave him be. I think it'll be okay. A lot of consciousness, though. Because we got a lot of infamy. But it's good to cut down on the infamy. Who are the rebel factions? 21,000. There's a small chance of the rebel. Royal faction. What do we have? We have tradition. Oh, that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. This is not looking great. But it's not too bad. Hey, we're making some money back. That's good. That's good. How's this looking? 60.4%. You guys are at 100%. Nice. Very nice. But, I think we'll call it there. Now, normally I don't make an episode this short, but this is, this is the first one. I think we'll be okay. So, what we're going to do. Let me know in the comments below. We've got some things here we can do for, for reforms. Uh, research points when bonus when conquering, plus 25%. Should we actually form training methods? That's not bad. But if, if we can form this empire, you can actually get... Imported weapons and flintlock rifles. So that's pretty good already. Flintlock rifles, imported weapons. So we can grab that. So obviously going that one wouldn't be good. If we can form the Empire, which we probably can't, but we'll see what happens. So should I go with like form training methods or anything else around here? Because I think trying to conquer other nations around here would probably be a smart idea. Like foreign officer training would be really good. But it costs 9,400 research points. That's so much. So, so much. Even naval training is not bad. Plus 25% research points. That costs over 10,000 research points. So, and I have, I'm going to say that one. This one just costs 7,700. So let me know which 
which military form I should go as with Sokoto as we're conquering more, educating more, and getting more administrative efficiency. But regardless, guys, hope you enjoyed our first episode in playing as Sokoto. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we're ready to go to war with someone else. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.